Now, at times, uh, it happens that, see, if we are using assertion over here, and uh, maybe we are validating a title, it, it's actually failing the test. But failing test means that, let's say if something written over here, if I write uh, beginning over here, and if I write uh, ending over here. So if I run this thing now, you're gonna see that beginning is printed and ending is not printed this is because whenever there is a failure in assertion the statement will break over here itself it will not go any further right this is the rule of assertion so as soon as there is a failure your test case will break and it will move to the next test case maybe in your test case you may want to report a multiple failure you don't want to fail this test case over here. I mean, uh, like you were using assert dot assert true. If the condition is not met, this is uh, not a very high priority bug, right? You don't want to fail the entire test. You want that it should execute all further steps as well. Maybe there is another condition over here, assert dot assert uh, equals Right, we are validating some other expected and actual results as well over here. And maybe I'm gonna write uh, something like uh, in actual it is true, in expected it is false. Again, another thing uh, is failed over here, right? So same way over here, uh, I'm gonna validate actual and expected title. So here we are validating title. So validating, validating title. And here we are validating, let's say, validating uh, image. Could be anything on the page, right? So we have two assertions over here. Maybe I'll gonna do, I'll gonna add some more assertion. Assert dot assert equals, I want to validate something else as well. Uh, which is again, true and false. Right, so this should be something like validate uh, text box presence, right? So if I run this thing now, run as test ng test, you're gonna see only validating title will be printed, rest other things will not be printed, right? Because this assert is basically a hard assertion. Hard assertion means that Whenever there is a failure, it will break from there itself. So there, are, there is an alternate to this. In case you want to report multiple failures, you want to do multiple validation within the same test. So instead of using hard assertions, you can use soft assertions. So how soft assertions will be implemented? You simply need to uh, call a class called as soft assert. Right, you need to create an object of this class. Soft assert, soft assert equal to new soft assert. This is an internal test ng class. See, org test ng asserts. Now, same method is there in soft assert as well. Instead of assert dot assert equals, say soft assert dot soft assert equals. Same way soft assert dot assert equals. Soft assert dot assert equals. Save this, run this, you're gonna see that everything will be executed. See, validating title, image, everything got successfully executed. But I can see the test is also passed. Now I don't want to pass the test, right? Although I want to execute everything inside the test, but the failure should also be reported, right? Although it's not a high priority issue, but could be severity, could be high. But I mean, in any case, priority or severity, the test case should fail. Although I want everything to be executed, but there should be three failures that should be reported in this test. So what I can do at the end, I simply need to add one statement that is soft assert dot assert all. That's it. Now, if you run it, you're gonna see that there's a failure, 
right? You can see the following asserts failed. Expected Yahoo, but Gmail, false, true, false, true. Now, what is this false, true, false, true? You can add your own messages as well. So over here, uh, you can add a message. This is overloaded method. So uh, text box not present, right? Same way over here, image not present. So now if you run this again, run as test ng test, you're gonna find expected Yahoo, but found Gmail, image not present, text not, not present. Right, see multiple errors in the same test. So this is how you can report multiple failures inside your test, right? Using something called as soft assertions, which will not break your test, which will do the entire execution, but it will actually gonna report the failures as well. Right, so at times you want to break your test. Let's say if login section is not present, you don't want to execute that test, right? If submit button is missing, you have entered username and password. It's, there is no sense of moving to the next step if submit button is not there. Then you can fail it using hard assertions, that assert class. In case you want to still continue the test, then use this soft assertions, right? So that's all in this lecture. Thank you.